been a while, but hey, this weekend you might want to take advantage of those temperatures that <laughs> yeah. we've had. Really haven't had much winter lately. It's hard to believe, you know, we're sitting in February. As a matter of fact, take a look at our meteorological winter temperature rankings. This goes from December 1st all the way to yesterday, and many of us are seeing now the top warmest winters on record. Here in Des Moines, we're now at number one, the same in Waterloo, Mason City, and Sioux Falls. And with the warmth that we have coming over the next several days, we're likely going to hold at that rating. You can see this afternoon we've had some clouds streaming across the state, some mid and high level clouds. Those have gradually become thicker this afternoon. Gorgeous view there from our West Des Moines Tower Cam. And you can see we're overcast now this evening, but eventually we will see those clouds gradually reducing coverage later on tonight, down to 39 degrees by 9, 35 by midnight, and it should be mostly clear and a temperature of 30 by 3, and those winds will also begin to diminish as well. The clouds have been moving from north to south across the state today, and we peaked in the mid-50s early on this afternoon. Now we're starting to see some of that cooler air work its way into the state behind a cold front. This is just a glancing blow of cold air, though it really lasts tonight and into the morning hours tomorrow. Expect those temperatures to drop into the upper teens off to the northeast, low and mid 20s and upper 20s elsewhere tomorrow morning. So really just a couple of degrees right on target for this time of year. Expect those gusty winds that we had this afternoon to diminish as well. They'll be down to around five miles per hour early in the morning and those wind gusts will also begin to diminish. Now, as we go into the day Saturday, our wind direction will quickly shift back to the southwest and that will warm us up very quickly tomorrow afternoon. Expect low 50s off to the east and some upper 40s, but central and western parts of the state will likely see another day of well above average temperatures as highs work their way into the mid and upper 50s and even near 60 out to the west. Temperatures drop tomorrow night into the upper 30s, mid 30s as well, and then Sunday another day in the 60s here across central Iowa. Look Looking ahead into next week, we have another stretch of very warm weather, at least for the first part of a week. Southwest winds ramp up ahead of a cold front on Monday, and that could push us to record territory. 75 right now is the forecast high, and that would break the old record of 70 set back in 1896, where we're going to watch a strong cold front move in from the west. That will bring in colder air and gusty winds, falling temperatures through the day on Tuesday. There could even be a little bit of snow on the backside of that as well Tuesday night into to Wednesday, but again, just a glancing blow of cold air as we look at your eight day forecast. Yes, we do cool off again on Tuesday with a high of 65 dropping into the teens Tuesday night and the 30s on Wednesday. But after that, our temperatures rebound back into the 50s and 60s by the end of next week.